okay so welcome uh, to this session so today we will discuss the some in uh, the interview questions and answer for the SL technology the job role is ATL informatica tester and the experience is zero to four years okay so the first questions basically ask the introduce yourself okay so you should explain yourself your education educational background your experience background and uh, your skill sets second question is based on your experience like in the etl project if you have worked in any etl project so the second question is to architecture explain the architecture of project okay so based on that you can explain the architecture of project okay so we will directly jump on the the questions which is asked in the informatica explain the difference between the joiner and lookup transformation so the joiner transformations can join two or more homogeneous and heterogeneous sources whereas the lookup transformations which can apply only one source or the multiple targets then the joiner transformation which perform on uh, the inner join left join right join and full outer join basically the joiner it having a master outer join or detail outer join whereas in the lookup transformation performs only on left join joiner transformation does not suppose support not non equi join whereas the lookup transformation supports equi or non equi join joiner transformation is always connected in the mapping whereas the lookup transformation which is unconnected uh, instance of uh, one source okay it make accessing lookup data without directly connecting lookup into the mapping so this is the difference between the joiner transformation and lookup transformation next question is what is the source qualifier transformation and can we join two flat files using these transformations so source qualifier represents that rows that uh, in the power center which reads the relational or flat file source when it runs a session when a relational or flat file source uh, definitions is added to the mapping it is connecting to the source qualifier so basically the source qualifier it is read the data from the source so we can say it is an active and connected transformations and it is basically the main objective is to help to convert the source data type into the data type supported in the informatica now the next question is can we join the two flat files so the answer is yes we can join two flat files using the source qualifier transformations okay it is basically it is used for relational database as well as in the flat files so we can join uh, cert for certain operations we can include the joins as well now the next question what is the difference between mapping and maplets so mapping is collection of the source target and transformation whereas the maplet is only the collection of transformation mapping is developed with different transformation but not reusable whereas the maplet can be reusable reused other mapping and also maplet mapping is developed for what data move to target what modification done upon that whereas the maplet is developed for complex calculation used in multiple mappings so i hope you uh, understood the difference between mapping and maplet now the moving to the next question as a tester what you have access in the informatica and what you have validate in the informatica so as a etl tester in the informatica power center basically you have access as the informatica power center as a designer workflow manager and workflow monitors so using this you can design a mapping create a workflow and monitor the job executions so basic validations we have performed as a tester the data validations so data is extracted transformed and loaded correctly according to the business rule or mapping specifications so we have to 
check that data validation from source to target second is the mapping validation so we have to uh, we have to verify that the whatever the transformation expression joints and lookups are given so we have to validate the mapping workflow validations so we have to as a as a QA in the Informatica tool we validate the workflow like validate the workflow to ensure that executed as expected including the session properties dependencies scheduling and error handling if error handling that is test error handling mechanism to ensure that errors are captured logged and handled appropriately during the data processing so of course apart from that there is a performance testing okay so the workflows mapping sessions under various conditions such as the data volume uh, then the concurrency network latency let us see so we have to check that for the performance testing and the last one is the regression testing so we perform the regression testing to changes or enhance to the mapping workflows or configurations so do not introduce new defect or any regressions so this is the validations we have performed in the informatica suppose source has a 10 records and the target has five records but it is loaded the five records only so what are the possibilities here the count is not match the possibilities are the number one is a data loss so the data may loss from the source to the target actually so uh, this is a data validation failure then data filtering the there may be the filter out certain records from the source actually which are not loaded into the target that may be the reason second third reason is it may be the data may be the duplicates so that's why the data is uh, not loaded into the target aggregations or grouping the operations so number of records in the target may reduce due to the data consolidation or summarizations so that may be the happen or number fifth is record data truncation so for example the data truncation or data loss may occur due to the target column have smaller length or different data type compared to the source column so that may be the happen so these are the reasons why uh, the data count is not matching the target suppose we are loading the data from the file to table file to database what will be the negative testing scenario negative testing means to break the system okay so the reason negative testings are number one file format validations so there is an incorrect file form file uh, format or structure like missing columns incorrect de delimiters or mismatched data types or uh, maybe the second is like corrupted or invalid data then data integrity issues like uh, it files contain duplicate records and how to handle the duplicates in the target we can check whether we can check the missing or null values okay then the boundary conditions loading the files the data value are beyond the boundary limits defined in the table columns such as the maximum field lengths the numeric ranges or date range we can add the special characters we can add the control character non-printable character verifying how the system handles such characters during the data loading next is the performance testing um, if there is a more volume the millions of records or files is exceeding the system so how, how the system will work so it, it is under the performance testing we will check the error handling the error handling is like the data for invalid data format missing columns incorrect data values verifying how the system detects and handles such an error so so likewise actually we can uh, uh, we can how the system logs errors roll back trans uh, transactions or recovers from the failures so how it work we can check with the error handling and recovery and last one is a constraint and triggers so the constraints we can provide it like of, uh, the key constraint unique key constraint foreign key constraint data validation triggers so verify how the system enforce these constraints or triggers so these are the scenario we can check validate for the negative testing now moving to the next question what is the difference between data warehouse data mining and data lake the answer is 
the data warehouse is the process of sorting managing and retrieving the data from the various source in a centralized location whereas the data mining it is a process of discovering the pattern and the knowledge from the large amount of data whereas the data lake which contain all organization data in a raw unstructured form can store the data in identifiably for uh, immediate or future use actually so this is a basic difference of these three now the next is what is the difference between the star schema and the snowflake schema the star schema is a centralized located fact table which surrounded by the multiple dimension tables whereas the snowflake schema it is a extension of the star schema in which the dimension table exploded into another dimension tables so in the star schema dimension tables are denormalized uh, and snowflake schema the dimension tables are normalized so in the snowflake schema there is no duplicate uh, records is having because of the complex or complicated structures so due to this uh, complex or complicated structure the joints and tables are complicated in the snowflake schema whereas in star schema the simple in structure so joints and queries are simple so the performance is also high in the star schema whereas the snowflake schema the performance of the query is less because of the complicated what is the normal next question what is the normalization what are the different types of normalization so normalization is the process to eliminate the data redundancy and to enhance the data integrity in the table data redundancy means to reduce the duplicate data so types of uh, normalization this first normal form second normal form third normal form and 3.5 normal form okay next question what is the second normal form the second normal form is it is a relation uh, with the first normal form and every non key attribute is fully depend on each candidate key of, of the relations so it is removing the partial dependency next what is the index in sql index are the special lookup tables that need to used by the database search engine to speed up the data retrieving so index is a simple simply a reference to the data in a table okay it is similar to that back of the journal so we can identify we can retrieve this speed up speedily the data next is what is the difference between clustered index and non cluster index so the cluster index is like index that detects the physical order of the row in the table whereas non cluster which is contains the pointer to the physical location of the row then the sorting physical sorting in the uh, point of view the rows are physically sorted based on index key whereas non cluster which is not physically sorted on the index key it contains the pointer to the data rows data duplications there, there is no data duplication in the cluster index whereas the non cluster index there is there may be the data duplications index size and maintenance so typically larger size in the cluster index so uh, may require that uh, maintenance rearranging the data data pages to update and insert there is a non cluster index it's a typically smaller size so it contains only the pointer to data rows okay so uh, does not require rearranging the data the query performance is more efficient in the cluster whereas a non cluster is having a less less efficient as compared to the cluster index moving to the next question what is the part partition in the etl partition is a partition technique is that divides the large data set into the smaller subset that can be proceed more efficiently and parallelly so it is used to improve the etl process and to reduce the amount of data scan or join or aggregated during the extraction of the or transformations so this is called as partition of the partition in etl so we can improve the performance of the etl what is the constraint in sql constraint these are the rules or condition or you can say the limit to the data flow into the table so these are not null unique primary key foreign key and check can you tell me about the check constraint yes answer is the check constraint is used to limit the range value range and condition that can be placed in a column so this is about the check constraint now the next are the sql question for your practice so in this part only we will cover that 
the theoretical questions and answers in the second part we will cover the sql queries so for your exercise you can you can uh, identify the answers of these sql que query questions so there are four questions they ask the first question is on the sql query to find out the duplicate second is to delete the duplicate records from the employee table without using row id the third is finding the fifth lowest salary department wise from the employee table and the fourth one is the given the one one table and according to that to fetch the highest date for each id okay so think about that and to you can cross check your answers in the next sessions so thank you for watching this video thank you